Hey there everybody, in this video we are going to talk about how Facebook ads are getting more difficult. It's just simply the truth. Facebook is getting more and more crowded with advertisers. What used to be just a gravy train of easy leads and sales is now getting more difficult. What can you do to fix it? We're going to talk about a few ideas that I've been using that have been very helpful in making sure that Facebook is still a very, very lucrative place to be running ads. Let's get into today's video. Hey there everybody, my name is Brandon Brashears. I create daily digital marketing videos here on YouTube. So if you're looking to grow your brand or your business with digital marketing, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions, comments, or need help with anything, be sure to comment down below. You can also head on over to maverickdigitalmarketing.com and request a free 30 minute marketing ideas generation session where we get on Zoom and talk about how to create some ideas that are gonna help you grow your business. So let's get into today's video though. Let's talk about Facebook ads. Facebook has been a very sore spot for a lot of entrepreneurs, especially recently. If you are doing any kind of Facebook ads, you've probably seen that your cost per action has gone up pretty substantially over about the past year and a half. There's been so many changes, targeting options taken away, ad accounts banned or blocked, um, just tons of problems coming up. And what's been happening a lot, especially in my agency, is people are coming out and saying, hey, we want to be running more ads on Google. We want to be doing more YouTube ads. We want to be diversifying our traffic and I totally get it. I think that it's very, very wise to diversify your traffic and make sure that you don't have all of your eggs in the Facebook basket. But listen, Facebook is still a tremendously lucrative spot to be running ads. So let's talk about a few things that you can do to make sure that Facebook is going to continue to be a good place for you to run ads. So the first thing that you need to realize that when you're on Facebook, in order to get any kind of distribution for your content, there's just no more organic. Organic is dead for business. You have to realize that. There's always going to be exceptions to this rule. If you're getting organic on Facebook, congratulations, because that's amazing. But you have to plan and you're gonna have to be paying for awareness. Top of Funnel needs to have budget now. And that's just the way that it is. There's other channels that are great. LinkedIn is one of them that you can still get good organic distribution for top of funnel awareness. But Facebook, Instagram, you're going to have to pay, pay to play, pay to get your content out there. And so this does mean that you need to have content that segments people. You need to have content that's driving people to action, driving people to take the next step with you. I think that most people on Facebook are not putting out enough content. They're not putting out enough budget behind the content to start building that retargeting audience that warms them up. And that's the beauty of Facebook. You're able to really warm up your audience. Whereas in Google AdWords, you're not having that same situation. So I think that with, with Facebook specifically, you need to use that difference that you have the ability to warm people up. You have the content that you can put out there. And especially when it comes to video, I think you should absolutely be using video for your business. So make sure that your content is relevant, entertaining, informational, and helpful. Content that's helpful is very, very important, but also should be somewhat entertaining just because Facebook has people using the content platform for entertainment primarily. They're not there to do networking. They're not there to, you know, be hanging out and just, you know, getting information or things like YouTube, whereas YouTube people are actually searching for things. They're spending time engaging, trying to build skills or, you know, Find specific answers to specific questions and things like that. Not the case with Facebook. Instagram, also, people are just hanging out there, pretty much wasting time, following up with what's going on in family and stuff. So you need to make sure that your content is going to at least stand out and be engaging. So once you have that awareness content, though, you need to figure out what is the appropriate middle of funnel objective to go for. So number one, you need to be using standard conversion events. Totally think that that would be a game changer if you don't have that set up. You need to make sure that you have that tracking set up, that you're able to really identify which audiences and which target audiences are going to provide the best return for you. And then we need to make sure that you have offers that your, your audience actually wants. And you need to make sure that the traffic that you're sending is going to be very, very relevant to the offers and that you've successfully engaged and warmed up the traffic. I think that within Facebook, one of the biggest opportunities is the ability to create conversation with your clients and your customers. So there totally would be situations where 
you would want to try and just have the customer close themselves and just become a purchase. But especially if you're in things like real estate or service businesses, people are going to ask questions and engage and start to communicate with you. You should realize that when people are asking questions, that's a great opportunity because you're the person that they're relying to for expertise and you're able to take that expertise and then hopefully drive some kind of action. I'm not saying you should spend your time in the messenger just going back and forth on things and just giving away all of the value, but you should be answering questions, engaging people, and figuring out a conversation funnel that can then drive people to be actual clients and customers. I think this is especially important if you're in real estate or a business similar to that where there's a lot of choices and the expertise that you offer is what makes you not a commodity. So the content needs to help to segment and identify the right kinds of customers, but don't expect the close to happen without possibly some work, especially if it is a higher ticket priced item or a more important type solution. And people, especially if they're thinking about listing their home or buying a home or if people are looking for a veterinarian or a plumber or pretty much anything, think about how you engage with brands and businesses as a customer and a consumer. You oftentimes like to have more information. So how can you provide more information? How can you provide value in advance so that these clients and customers want to come to you, that they're your, you're their trusted resource for whatever business that you have. I think a lot of times businesses say, well, you know, I don't want my customers to reach out to me on Facebook. I want them to call the office instead. And the truth is that people like to engage in the mediums that they like to use. It's not about you, it's what they like to do. So the more convenient that you can make it for them, the better off you're going to be. So Facebook has recently said that they are going to be focusing on privacy, on groups, and then on messaging. So as a, a marketer on Facebook, it's pretty clear and it's been really interesting since they've updated the app that they are pushing really hard people into groups. So if you can create a group that's going to provide value and then advertise that group to try to build it up, you're going to be able to see some more um, organic engagement and distribution within that group specifically. So really, I think Facebook comes down to understanding the demographics that are using it and then also, on top of that, how people are functionally using Facebook and Instagram now. It's really become a place for groups and for messaging completely. So think about conversation marketing. How can you create conversations that will then lead to closes? And then also, how can you create groups, support the groups, and create engagements that are going to really help you to grow and um, create and cultivate a group of people who would be ideal clients for your business? So I hope that this was helpful. I know that it can be confusing sometimes. If you ever need any help with your digital marketing, be sure to reach out to me. You can head on over to maverickdigitalmarketing.com. You can request a 30 minute marketing idea consultation for free. And if you ever need any help, just comment below. I hope that you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day, everybody.